Hello, my name is Joseph Gleave, and I'm here to talk about multispectral optical coatings and how they can help advance Navy weapon systems meet future operational performance requirements. I am a senior materials scientist in the coatings group at Surface Optics Corporation, with more than 35 years of experience developing low observables, camouflage, and advanced optical materials technology for Navy, Army, and Air Force platforms. If you work with a system that has performance specifications for optical and or electromagnetic reflectance and transmission, solar loading or observable signatures, you likely require spectrally tailored surface coatings in your system design. The phase two topic I will describe here specifically addresses an innovative process for application of anti-reflection coatings on the interior of next generation IR missile domes to maximize missile seeker performance. If you are involved with future air-to-air -air weapon systems, I hope we will capture your interest. More broadly, if your system performs optical targeting, surveillance, or communications, we hope SOC's capability and experience developing innovative optical coding solutions could be directly relevant to your mission success. If you have any ideas or questions you would like to discuss, please reach out to us at surfaceoptics.com. You will also find my contact info on the last slide of this presentation. For more than 40 years since the days of the Apollo Moon program, Surface Optics has focused on measurement, analysis, and engineering of the optical materials used in space and defense systems. In SOC's coatings group, we have a long track record supporting government and commercial space projects. From design of the paint on the Apollo lunar landers to application of the mirror coating for the Kepler Planet Finding Telescope. From solar rejection coatings on the dish antenna of many commercial communication satellites to thermal control coatings for JPL's Mars Inside Lander. In our production vacuum chambers, we have applied multi-layer filters to high energy laser windows for Department of Energy that are meters in diameter. And we have we are coating hundreds of meters of ultra thin polymer film for solar sails. We have also designed and produced multi-layer thin film pigment or spectrally tailored Navy camouflage paints that are currently in service. Beyond coatings, SOC's optical engineering business also includes design and manufacture of custom optical instruments that are used to measure spectral performance for our own products. Instruments that are also purchased by the research laboratories of government and defense primes whose projects we support. Compact hyperspectral camera systems are a growing and important part of SOC's business base, providing real-time detection and identification of battlefield explosive residues, military targets, and industrial airborne pollutants. SOC's strength lies in our ability to help our customers' missions succeed through our expertise, experience, and unique production capability. Future air-to-air -air weapon systems have an ever-increasing need for speed. Infrared missile seeker domes with improved aerodynamics will be needed in order to reduce drag, increase range and speed, and increase seeker field of regard compared to current hemispheric domes. Anti-reflection or AR coatings are needed to suppress stray light reflections or glare that degrade seeker performance. The challenge is to apply a precisely defined multi-layer anti-reflection coating to the interior surface of a deeply concave aerodynamic shape, such as an Ojai missile dome. Our primary transition targets will be new programs of record emerging from ongoing R&D by government and primes in support of PMA-259. Next generation IR missile domes will be based on advanced ceramic composite materials for which the desired operational improvements are maximized dome transparency and suppression of reflected glare. Multi-layer AR coatings for these materials must be heat stable with index and layer thickness matched to the IR seeker bandwidth. For an ogive dome, optimization across the range of seeker view angles 
requires the, the AR coding design must be continuously adjusted from the tip backwards. This is more difficult than the situation with current hemispherical domes, where the AR coding layer profile can be everywhere the same. The heat map shown in the figure on this slide shows the difference in stray light reflectance between ogive missile domes with and without AR coding. In the most affected forward angles of seeker view, we expect up to 5x reduction in stray light reflection. For your system, what limits your optical performance? Could AR coatings, filters, or selective reflective treatments help your mission? While it is straightforward to design a missile dome AR coating with a variable thickness profile for a deep concave structure, the real challenge is manufacturing. SOC is using a vac Vacuum evaporation process called physical vapor deposition to apply coating layers in sequence, automatically changing source material for each new layer. For the IR missile domes, we have constructed a custom coating chamber with fixtures to support and rotate the dome during processing. We are able to focus the evaporated source material inside the dome, simultaneously matching the transfer rate to the layer thickness required for each portion of the dome. Controlled process conditions permit repeatable AR coating of domes in a dedicated fixture that will support phase three commercialization and subsequent low rate production. SOC is on track for completion of milestones one and two for AR coating design and manufacturing process definition. We expect to successfully deliver samples of AR-coated optical ceramic representing the full span of surface angles on the ogive dome vertical axis. This will meet requirements for the phase two base period. During the phase two option, we plan to work with a participating defense prime to AR-coat an optical ceramic ogive dome supplied by the prime. This will be a first demonstration of the IR dome coating process in anticipation of phase three commercialization. So in summary, SOC has developed a manufacturing process for anti-reflection coating of aerodynamic IR seeker domes for next generation air-to-air -air missiles. Seeker performance will be improved by a 5X reduction in reflected stray light compared to an uncoated dome even at near grazing angles, which are particularly challenging. Performance levels are twice the objective goal for glare reduction stated in the solicitation. At the same time, anti-reflection will, will result in lower transmission loss through the dome, also improving seeker performance over a wide range of angles. Based on proven optical materials, this approach can be rapidly transitioned to production in support of a program of record requirement. At this time, we are in advance of a stated program of record for next generation IR missiles. So SOC is continuing to support both NAVAIR and associated prime contractors in R&D of advanced air-to-air -air weapons concepts. Our intent is to have limited rate production capacity available as soon as requirements are announced. On a different but related track, SOC has also been involved in support of projects looking at development of conformal sensor windows for hypersonic weapons platforms. Here, requirements for thermal stability and coating of aerodynamic window shapes may turn out to be very similar to requirements for high-speed missile domes. Again, our objective is to be ready with enabling optical technology to support rapid development in Navy airborne weapons capability. Our process for optical coating of parts with complex geometry could also support platforms with emerging requirements. For example, in conformal windows for targeting and surveillance sensor systems embedded in new unmanned combat aircraft and surface craft. 
This process can also be adapted to large area structures like crew windows on assault craft that need to be transparent at view wavelengths, but match low observable signatures of the rest of the craft. From UV to microwave, coating technology can be adapted to improve operational performance. If you have a requirement or engineering concept to address, let us help you. Surface Optics is seeking phase three partners for commercialization with whom we can work to support future air-to-air -air weapons concepts going forward. As an R&D partner, we're supporting a manufacturing supply chain. Surface Optics has always looked for opportunities to add value as a resource for optical engineering solutions. If you have any kind of optical materials requirements for sensor or laser windows, transparent armor, or low observable signatures, please contact us. If you have a surveillance application that requires compact hyperspectral sensors with real-time target analysis, again, please contact us. I appreciate this opportunity to tell you about Surface Optics Corporation's optical coding and sensors capability. Here on this page is my contact information. Please be sure to visit our virtual booth here at Navair Days for more about Surface Optics. We look forward to being part of your success. Thanks again.